Yeah, yeah, what up world? I go by the name of Paolo Ali. I'm sitting here with hip-hop since 1987. You already know what it is, man. Camden to Philly, let's get it. Shout my hip-hop since 1987, niggas. Hip-hop since 1987.com. All right, it's your boy E Money with Hip Hop Since 1987.com, and I'm here with my man Apollo Ali. How are you, man? How you doing? How everything going? Peace, man. I'm cool. I'm chilling. You know, just working. We here. Welcome to Canada. You know what I'm saying? Home of the um, first mass murder in America. Home of Jersey Joe Walcott. If you're familiar with New Jersey or you familiar, you got to be familiar with Camden. And if you familiar with Camden, you got to be familiar with my bloodline. So shout out to Grandpa. Shout out to the whole city. Camden, man, we here, man. Appreciate you coming over. Hey, no problem. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I mean, this is our first time sitting down with you. For, so for our viewers who aren't familiar with Apollo Ali, tell them, you know, what's going on. Yeah, man. Um, formerly known as Apollo the Great. You know what I'm saying? AKA. My name is Apollo Ali, though. You know what I'm saying? For those who don't know, I got a project coming out real soon called Contradiction. And um, I've been working for a minute, man. I've been just putting in work, trying to figure it out, making this music, trying to get better with every project. You know what I'm saying? So now we at that point where it's enough attention around that we could really show ourselves and, like, you know what I mean, make it happen with it, with the music. So, like I said, Contradiction coming out. And, um, that's what I'm here to talk about. Now, it's a Contradictions, new project. Heard of some big features on there. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about those features, the production. Give us the rundown. What can the people expect with this project? True. Um, all right. Well, first and foremost, Contradiction, it's, um, that's the, the album title, you know what I'm saying? And it's Contradiction because the music is... Um, I want to say what you want to, what, what, what they want to call commercial at, at, at some points of it, but then it, it's, it gets so underground at some points of it too. It's like you're not supposed to be able to be both of them at the same time. And, and, and people get confused and call it contradicting themselves when they don't understand. But when you understand, you see that that's one and the same, and that's the realest. The contradictions is the realest when it comes to the world because ain't, no, ain't nobody one thing all the time. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we go through different... Um, Emotions, feelings, and phases in, in, in every second. So, you know what I mean? We got to be able to live life that way. That's the way you survive it. So, it's contradiction because of that. And um, it's also an acronym. So, so I don't know the record for the longest acronym, but I, I might be in a mix with that. You know what I'm saying? So, it's contradiction. C-O-N-T-R-A-D-I-C-T-I-O-N. And, and, and the acronym is Chosen Over Niggas That Rap Average doing it correct to improve our nation so it's a lot of layers to that shit you know what i'm saying and and, and you gotta hear the album to be not part of yourself you gotta listen to the album to to catch all that you know what i'm saying if not you just hearing music but as far as the features go um we got my man kiss on there shout out to jada kiss man like we already know what he mean to us you know what i'm saying so Having him on there is major because that, that co-sign mean a lot, especially coming down here to Canada. He familiar with it. So, um, yeah, he on there on the Rio remix. We got my big bro. I, I call him my big brother, uh, uh, Sean Price on there, Kimbo Price. Uh, he dubbed me Jersey Flow Walcott. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 the other alias after Apollo Ali. Shout out to P, man. He on there. Um, shit, man, we got... Uh, Jordan on there and August I seen on the record um it's called Keep Going produced by my man Trax Trigger um that joint crazy too it's like that's one of my favorite records just cuz of the story that go along with it you know what I'm saying like the the record um it transformed from from the beginning to the end you know what I'm saying like when I first when I first sent the joint off um his people's and my people's know each other I'm talk I'm speaking on August and myself so this is how we linked and shit but um when it when it when it first when we first was doing it, I'm I'm like, damn, I want to do some. I knew he, he wasn't on yet. You feel me? His single ain't dropped yet, but I'm seeing him for who he is. You know what I mean? Without the show, I'm like, yeah, he gonna be somebody. Um, 
we need to do this. This is what like I wanted to do, you know, like a, a song for the female, something like it's kind of the singles that he dropped, you feel me? But I ain't have a lot of beats that was really ready to go at that level at that time, you feel me? So I had what I had and it was more underground I don't wanna say underground, but more that 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 that, that grimy hip hop type shit. So I sent him that. And um he came over the hook and uh sent it back to me, like, yo, y'all fucking with this. And of course I'm like, yeah. But I, I'm like, damn, I wanna do I wanted to do something for the bitches, but you know what I mean? So it was it wasn't fitting me at the moment. But as I sat with it, I ain't had no verses yet. I just sent him a couple beats and seen what he picked, you know what I'm saying? So once he picked the joint, um, you know what I mean? I sat with it for a while and it seemed like life happened. You know what I'm saying? Like the the, the hook he gave me was on some shit, on some stressed out shit. And me looking at it from my perspective, like, nigga, what the fuck you stressing for? You about to blow the fuck up, dog. I see this shit about to happen, nigga. You good. What you got to worry about? You gonna be straight. You feel me? So that's how I'm looking at it. And when he sent it to me, that's what I was on. And I'm like, damn, why he do that? Because I know he about to blow. So you feel me? But then time passing, and he, I mean, not even that long. Like, it might have been a month or two. And, um, that I love this shit drop. And that shit started taking off. And I'm like, damn, see? I want to do some shit like that with my nigga, man. Because I already knew, you feel me? But um, it ain't happened that way. So while I'm watching that, I'm still listening to his hook. And it's like, man, he wasn't even talking for himself. I felt like he was talking for me. You feel me? Because the hook be like, I did the best I could do. But it, but it seemed like it ain't enough. Because um, the bills keep piling up. It's like I can't move. I'm stuck. Got me feeling like giving up all this shit. And he's like, I gotta keep going though. You feel me? So that that at that at that point, watching him do his thing, I'm happy as hell for him. But reflecting on my own situation, I'm like, damn, he talking for me. How he know to say that? Like, cause I'm watching him do it, but that that's just the tip of the iceberg. Like I watched Kendrick do it. His first sold out show in New York. I was there. I performed with him. I had just found out about him because we was in DC doing a show the night before or the week before with um Joel Ortiz. And um, that's when I first heard about Kendrick Lamar, and my man's like, "Yo, he he that next one." He, uh, shout out to Willie B too, my man Willie B. He did a joint on um uh, my last tape, so I I knew about their story. You know what I'm saying? What was going on over there? So I his one of his first shows in um New York. I was there, man. I opened up, and I remember that energy. I'm like, "Dang, that's what's up." Them niggas is doing it, and they getting it off with with talent too. It ain't just no you know what I mean, no gimmicks. It's like niggas is nice. So I watched that shit happen. <laughs> I was there. You feel me? That was before. This shit So then when I'm Reflecting on the August hook I'm like damn He talking for me So that made me love That record even more After I wrote the verses You know what I'm saying On the album cover You said you got Jersey Joe Walcott Tell us The significance Of Jersey Joe Walcott And why you use him For your album cover Word Alright Um I'm a, uh, I wanna ask you a question But it's based on opinion So I'ma just I'ma just go with the generic Consensus Most people feel like The best boxer of all time Is who? Most people Muhammad Ali Okay well say it again Muhammad Ali See that Alright so that, see that's what See I felt you I was going to ask you That's what I wanted you to say You're right anyway Muhammad Ali Best bas- boxer of all time Now a little known fact Is who inspired him that man goes by the name Jersey Joe Walcott. That man is a man from Camden, New Jersey. That man is also my grandfather. Not my great-grandfather, my grandfather. I'm his last grandson, so it's, you know what I mean? It's, it's a little different. But if you're familiar with Ali, you're familiar with one of the things that made him his most famous is how he danced around the ring. Hit you with a little shuffle and a quick one-two. He got that from Jersey Joe Walcott. Jersey Joe Walcott is the man who changed the game of boxing since him and created a new lane in it. It's called footwork. When you see boxers now, everybody does it. Footwork. You got to move around the ring. You, you can't just go from A to B and swing. You got to have footwork. He started that. Ali took it to that level. And everybody do it now, you know what I'm saying? So the significance in that is, you know what I mean? That's my bloodline, that's my DNA, that's my grandfather. But the history of this city is so rich, you know what I mean? Camden once being the richest city in America, now the poorest city in America. We right next to Philly. Y'all going through it just like we going through it, you know what I'm saying? We got to go over y'all, over over the bridge to get with y'all just to escape. 
you see some kind of club life, see some kind of something that looked like something, some whips coming, you know what I'm saying? So we relate to one another on that level. But um, yeah, I just the, the history of the city is important, and, and my history is important. So that's why my grandfather is on the cover. If you're familiar with the Lion King, that picture on the cover remind me of something similar to that. It ain't Mufasa and Simba. It's Jersey Joe Walcott and Apollo Ali. You know what I'm saying? And, and and that moment in time was priceless right there for my mind to be able to catch that picture in the moment and what it meant. Cause I, I ain't had my grandfather in my life for for very long. You know what I'm saying? He passed. In 94, I want to say I was, what, four, five. I was five, you know what I'm saying? And my dad, his hand in the picture, too. He, he passed in uh, 96. I'm, 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 I just turned seven, you know what I'm saying? So that moment was priceless, you know what I'm saying? To catch me with them two and them being who they be and me being who I am, you know what I'm saying? That moment was, like, priceless. You can't, you can't stage that photo. So that's why he on the cover. That's very dope. You know, um, and with that being said, you definitely had some big shoes to fill. Uh, now, you are putting on for Camden. Jersey scene. And, and unfortunately for, for Jersey, all you guys kind of get lumped in together. But what is your thoughts on the Jersey music scene? You got a couple guys making some noise. You got Fetty on the, on the mainland. You got a Sioux Surf in the battle lane. Y'all doing some things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like Jersey, every, every time it come around, it don't come around often. But when it come around, they get a wave. You know what I'm saying? Jersey get a wave. And, and when they get that wave, it be strong. So I say that to say this. I'm, I'm, I'm back and forth to New York trying to promote contradiction. You know what I mean? Every week, every other day, however it go. And every time I'm going, all I hear is Fetty on the radio. Fetty run the radio right now. So shout out to him for that. You know what I'm saying? And he definitely doing his thing. Sue Surf doing his thing, too. I I ain't really a box uh parts of uh, um battle rap. I don't I don't really be I don't be up on everything. I be missing a lot of shit. But I do know the names, you know what I'm saying? He one of the ones. So and I just he was on Cosmic Kev not too long ago. I tuned into that. Um but yeah, like I said, we get a wave. So right now is is that little window. So anything that's dropping, the world need to pay attention to. You know what I'm saying? Because this shit don't come around often and when it do, it's a wave and and history repeats itself. So that must be for a reason. Now, you referenced earlier to you used to being called uh, Apollo the Great. Changed your name to Apollo Ali. What was the cause for the name change? That's a good question. Um, all right, so boom, let's go on to Apollo the Great first and foremost. We, we understand Apollo is the Greek and Roman god of music. That's already, it. Be I, I noticed this from ever since I said that was my name. I noticed it. Like, this is an issue for certain, like, for some people. It depends what your character is, what, what cloth you cut from, it'd be an issue for them. So they don't be liking that. They already don't like me because of the name. Then I say the great. They got to say that, too, or they act like they don't know that, so they won't say the great. They'll just be like Apollo. Like, that's their way of saying, yo, you ain't great. And I'm like, true. I feel you. I'm not trying to say you not great by telling you to call me great. You feel me? And that's what they missing. I'm like, yo, you could be great too, but damn, that's my name, dog. You feel me? So that that been an issue. So higher on on a, on a higher level than that, uh, Ali. You know what I mean? It's a it's a name, a, a real name, a strong name, and, and it mean the same thing. Ali mean the Most High. You know what I'm saying? So instead of just being Apollo Most High, like I'm making them say. Just just call me my name. They they mean what they mean. You feel me? And I'm gonna walk in them shoes. So. You know, that's all that was. Plus, Ali being, like, they say a picture worth a thousand words. And I got a thousand pictures of Ali with my grandfather looking like the young boy studying and learning. And I know how great Ali was. So that's my reference point to realize how great I am. You feel me? Because I know who he was learning from, even though I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? So I took on that name because I feel like I could carry on tradition that way. Now, you're doing everything from the muscle, um, but still making some very big moves been on your last couple videos on mtv jams um music on serious uh how does it feel to be able to have your music on these certain level these type of platforms and what type of message are you trying to send to your listeners um to be honest with you i don't get caught up with the um with the platforms because to me I feel like it don't matter what I do, I ain't done nothing compared to my to, to my history, where I come from, the tree I fall from, they did a lot, you know what I'm saying? So 
I always feel like I ain't did enough yet. So I don't get caught up in in the platforms that we on. But when we on there, we gonna try to just bring real all the way. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't hiding nothing. And my message be to people to 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 figure out how to be yourself. And that's like the hardest thing to do in life. And people people can't seem to figure out how to do that. That's why all these things they call peer pressure, they call influence, they call all these words that we use. Like it's hard for people to fight that shit. And that's what everybody really trying to do. You know what I'm saying? It's just be they self. So that be my message to just be yourself because I'm being me. You know what I mean? All right. So we know the Contradictions Project is coming. What's the first single off of that project? First video. You know, I, I got a little inside that, you know, I know you did something with Dave East. What's going on? What's, 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 what's pop? Yeah. Um, shout out to Dave East too, man. Shout out to the whole Harlem. Um, yeah, we got the Pray For Us joint out. Uh, shout out to Grands, Buddha. Um, they did the uh, the first single, and that was called um, Frames. That's the first single we dropped this year. We dropped that on um, Malcolm X's birthday. That joint's crazy. So shout out to them. But that's how we all linked. They all connected. And um, we got we got Dave East on on the Pray For Us joint, produced by Digi- uh, the Crates. You know what I'm saying? My overseas dogs. They did a couple joints for me over the years. But that joint, the video already comes soon. You know what I'm saying? We shot it right here in Canton. We shot it at um, the shop on Fed, Federal Street. And, um, yeah, man, that's the next joint. And uh, after that, we got, um, matter of fact, we might be dropping something next week, too. We got uh, this joint, Swing My Way, produced by DJ Black Diamond. That joint crazy. A little summertime joint. But outside of that, man, we just got a lot of music coming, yo. I'm working, like, uh... My cousin just dropped the Hennessy Diaries VSEP. It's a it's a sequel to my last project, Hennessy Diaries. That's on iTunes now, um, by Verve Spielberg. You can check that out. And me and him also working on a thorough tape right now. Me and him together. And um that joint gonna be crazy too. If you got time, I could tell you I wanna wanna go into that real quick. So, um, for those who don't know Verve Spielberg, he, aka Verbal Kent, you know what I'm saying? And um it's my big cousin and shit, but Niggas y'all respect is is familiar with him and familiar with his work. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say niggas y'all respect because I respect them too. We respect them too. But they familiar with his work. And um, you know what I'm saying? On one of his demos, he he was one he was the first nigga to do something called 44 Force. He did that first. And he nice. Mad <laughs> nice. You feel me? He nice. From Canada though. So yeah, I say that to say this. We doing a joint together. And um, that shit ready to be crazy. Candon, Candon need it. Candon seen their heroes, you know what I mean, separately. They seen them together and seeing his family. It's a bloodline thing. It's just getting more and more harder to deny. So we just working, you know what I'm saying? Was well, there anything you'd like to leave us with before we get out of here? Oh, man, I uh, appreciate you for coming through, first and foremost. It's always crazy when real niggas link up. Um, contradiction coming soon. Follow me on Instagram, Apollo underscore Ali. Follow me on Twitter. Apollo underscore the great. Google me if you if you can't do none of that other shit. Contradiction coming the 24th. That's going to be on iTunes and all them digital retail joints. If you're in the hood, I'm going to have them in the hood. If you're in Philly, we could jump over the bridge. It ain't nothing. We family, so we're going to move how we move, play how we play. Um, real niggas stay real, man. <laughs> Set it off if that's what we going to do. Say that then. Hi, right, it's your boy E-Money. Camden's own Apollo Ali we signing out with hip hop since 1987.com. Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987.com. Now, with Charlie Clips, in my opinion, just annihilating Hollow to Dine, do you feel That's, like. You're drunk. Yeah, you, you, you don't Hell think Charlie, yeah. Charlie just went in on Hollow? Hollow clearly won. Oh man! Oh, yeah, Hollow clearly. Was Listen, that. I'm gonna go home and watch that, we gotta again. Watch that again. We gotta sit and watch that. But together. we, but yeah, we gotta watch that. You gotta, you gonna have to point out the lines that Hollow, that third verse.